Okay. All righty. Hey. Okay, hey. That's it. Hey, Shalom, Israel. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekah Kwidash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostle Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Citations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever we go. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom. Yes, sir. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Hey, all praises to you. How about Shema Shai for bringing us out again tonight, bro? All praises to you. How about Shema Shai? And, uh, so I wanted to, uh, you know, this, 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 this live camp tonight, man, we wanted, we wanted to bring out that, like, that was a, that was an epistle that we wanted to do about, um, the camp signs. And we, I think we did an epistle about the camp signs maybe a week. It was like a whole, like, last week, sometimes, like, the, you know, like maybe a week, a week and a half ago, something like that, around that area. Anyway, it was a, uh, it was a video about the, the, it was a video epistle about the camp signs here, and I, I, I entitled it, uh, The Truth About You Negroes, Them Black Folks, something like that, right? And, uh, so, that was a, that was a cut. I'm just wanting, trying to wait, like, wait till that big, that big truck pass. That was a comment. A brother left a comment on the board, and he said, he said something like the water. Um, toward the end of the video, see, he he got a, a question that was asked. You know, something that he had, you know, that he needed, you know, a little bit more clarity on. And, it, and you know, it it, it was a, and it, it came forth toward the end of that video, man. I also also so that made me I was very very thankful and you know because that's what we're supposed to be doing. Each one, you know, teach one as the trip proclaimed teach teach these to the wise of the people that they may teach others, you know. Um so I just wanted to kind of like maybe do something like that because I wanted to I needed two more I need two more well even you know you can never have enough signs. But I wanted two more camp signs. I wanted one A, one and one with the chariots. You know, I wanted one uh, also with the uh, with the with the nuclear warheads, the nuclear missiles that are going to be shot over here, at Babylon the Great, and destroy this place. You know, um, and I, I'm probably going to make another shorter epistle about that. But when I I know when I started to put the when I started to you know meditate on the epistle itself, you know, just those two camp signs and making a little epistle about those two camp signs. You know, the a few precepts that would go with them. Uh, it, it just there was a lot that was in, in between. You know the time of Jacob's trouble that that not even in between that, but but the last video. So lucky if I'm talking a little little bit, bro. Uh, but you know trying to trying to trying to you know get it you know set it up. You know so it can be organized in the head. You know Yahweh Shema is a God of order. Anyway, you know so we want to do everything decently and in order. Uh. So anyway, the last video ended with the M-A-R-K sign. The M-A-R-K sign. You know, and uh, so I wanted to pick it up from the M-A-R-K sign, so to speak. And, you know, these prophecies are being fulfilled right now in, in you know, in, in, in our face right now. You know, they're making commercials about the M-A-R-K, which is the C-A-I-P. You know, and the scripture speaks about in the book of Revelation chapter 13, you know, uh, and no man will be able to, you're not going to be able to go in that store or any store or any establishment after a while unless you have bowed down to the image of the beast and and uh, taken the M-A-R-K. So this, that's what these warnings are out for to the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, letting you know that you are the Lord's chosen people, letting you know that these are prophecies being fulfilled. You know, it's already, the Yahweh Shema said already declared the end from the beginning. I think we're going to start with that, man. I, I think that would be a good good a scripture so we're not standing up here talking all night long right we come to get watched and baptized with the word of truth bro go to the book of Isaiah chapter 46 verse 10 it says declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done saying my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure that's right man all praise to you for waking up waking us up in the last days which is a part, you know, 
of him declaring the end from the beginning that we're going to wake up in the last days. We're going to remember ourselves the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians and understand that we're his chosen people. So that's, that's bringing us to, you know, to, I guess, you know, we're going to start this epistle off with something like that. Uh, so we were speaking about the MARK, how after a while, no man will be able to, you know, go unless you, you know, got the, unless you bow down to the image. But Yahweh Shem in the book of Revelations tells you, Revelation chapter 14, uh, I think 14 verse 9 tells you that if you do take that MARK, you're going to be on his shit list. But it's, this, is, this is, you know, this, this, uh, these prophecies, this understanding, this truth is way more bigger than, you know, uh, whether or not you're taking the MARK or not. You know, I mean, of course you don't want to take it. But uh, there's going to be a lot. This is the, the time of judgment, bro. We're going to get it. Let's, get, get, let's just go to get it in the scriptures, man. This is a book of... Um, I want to I want to touch on this, and we you know we, of course we got to talk, you know, in parables and, and like in codes, and you know not say this because now uh, they've made a war on C theories, you know. That's what the UN brought out the other day. We you know brothers made uh, epistles about it, you know, and we understand that this is the beginning of the famine of the word again again because these prophecies are, are are building up, you know. It's not like it's like. Uh, they're alive, man. It's not like they're growing. They're like growing, like you know, like we're growing in the truth. Our faith is growing in the truth. So are these prophecies growing, you know. Uh, this is the book of Je Revelation, chapter fourteen, verse nine. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, "If any man, you know, speaking about you, so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, you know, worship the beast and his image." Because you're the ones that got the law, statute, commandments. The, you, you are the Lord's chosen people. You know, these other nations, they, their gods are false idols. You know, false gods and false idols, bro. But you, you have a God. You know, you have Hashem HaShah say, you have no cloak for your sins. If I had not come, you know, they wouldn't have, they would, you know, they would not have sinned. But now they have no cloak for their sins, roughly paraphrasing. You know, and this truth is, he's opened up the seals, he came, he laid down, you know, he became that, that, that a lamb, that sacrifice for the, for the sins of the children of Israel. You know, and the scripture proclaims, you know, that he wished that all men would repent. You know, he wished that none would perish, but they all should come to repentance. That's why we're out here on the hedges, highways and hedges bringing out this, this word of truth, warning the children of Israel, you know, to repent to the one true living God that we've been lied to, this false God and false idol so-called named JC. You know, so, so like about that again. Third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his M-A-R-K in his forehead, in a, in his, or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Shemashah, which is poured out without mixture, into a cup of his indignation, right? And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels, in the presence of the Lamb, bro. So you know we want, we want to be watching that go down. We want to, we want to watch. We want to be safely in the inside the chariots, looking down. You know, as the strip proclaims. You know. We want to be looking down at the destruction. You know, when Yahweh Shema Shah come and, and, and uh, send those nuclear warheads over here to Babylon the Great. And we want to see that lake of fire, you know, where people are going to get tossed into. People are going to be left there and melted. You know, we want to, we don't want to be a part of it. We want to be, you know, delivered. We, that's what salvation is, being delivered from the um, the evils. And the, this this great and terrible day of Yahweh Shema Shah, the time of Jacob's trouble, you know, that's spoken about in the scriptures. So, uh... Once again, you know, trying to uh, keep it all in decently and in order. Uh, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to read a few scriptures before we get into the the main epistle. Uh, because today, you know, uh, I was watching the GMS. I think it was DC, the DC Brothers camp. I reposted this, the the epistle, and they had, of course, they had a Christian up there. You know, they didn't, they didn't, he didn't get it. You know, uh, as we out here preaching the word of truth, we're not flocked. You know, there's not a crowd, a gang of people running up here. You know, the, uh, the, the epistles, there's not millions of people watching the epistles. There's not, because Yahweh Shema Shah declared it that way. We, he said, I'm be up, up to you as a small sanctuary. You know, and we understand the two-thirds of the children of Israel, they're not going to get it. 
the Lord said the election have attained in the retro blindness. So just want to, um, that was, a, I was going to play this little song, but I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to, well, you know what? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see how easy it come up. Just want to take a moment, bro. And, 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 uh, just recognize, you know, shit. I don't remember the name of the song. Okay. Uh, hold on. Okay, let's see if this is going to bring it up. It's not going to come up. Wait, 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 wait. This might be it. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I want to just take a take a second, man, to you know just be thankful for this word. As you know, as uh, cause cause this this word of truth, you know, Yahweh Shemashah has definitely called us out of darkness into this marvelous light. You know, there's something happening here, bro. Uh, I want to get this scripture right here. In the book of uh, it's a toss up. Jeremiah, <laughs> it's a toss up. Jeremiah chapter 24, bro. Once again, you know, declaring the contrast of Yahweh Shemashah calling us out of darkness into this marvelous light. Jeremiah chapter 24, verse 1. The Lord Yahweh Shemashah showed me, and behold, two baskets of figs were set before the temple of the Lord Yahweh Shemashah. After that, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, had carried away captive jo jo Je Jeconiah, Jeconiah, the son of jo Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and the prince of Judah, and the carpenters and the smiths from Jerusalem, and had brought them to Babylon. One basket had very good figs, even like the figs that are first ripe, and the other basket had very naughty figs, which could not be eaten. They were so bad. Then said Yahweh Shemashah unto me, What seest thou, Jeremiah? Hold on, let me turn this out. What seest thou, Jeremiah? Then the Lord said unto me, What seest thou, Jeremiah? And I said, Figs. Good figs. Very good. And evil, very evil, that cannot be eaten. They are so evil, right? And we're bringing this out, you know, as I was setting up camp. Uh, you know, as we understand, coming back to the understanding of the 100% of the truth, understanding our people, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, the Hebrew Israelites, you know, um, how, you know, how they, their character traits are. I had two E's come up here, loud as fuck, as we always know they, how they are. Loud as hell. Walked up here, and uh, Spirit had them stop right in front of me. They were on the phone with somebody talking about them coming back. I guess they down here, you know, visiting some some dude or something, whatever. And they stopped right here, and they just blurted out, "Do you know where Jacob's Trouble is? I mean, do you know the big? What's the name of that big hill that we gotta walk up? It's called Jacob's Trouble over here. You know, I was like, I was like, it's called Jacob's Trouble because they ain't got no damn manners, you know." Uh, and uh, also before, you know, setting up here as well, as, you know, as we saw these Jakes walking by, and I was like, man, I, sometimes you get to get to vibe the spirit, man, for real, man. And this this young Jake come up by, and I just, I was like, man, so evil, right? Because I had just, just thought about this scripture right here. I wanted to bring that out because we see the children of Israel walking back and forth, you know, doing their thing, you know, and then Yahweh Shemashah got us over here, you know, Fulfilling this prophecy, being clean and washed and baptized with this word of truth, man, and we're, man, we're praying to be to, that we will, you know, hold on to this truth to endure until the end. You know, believing this word wholeheartedly, you know, fulfilling this prophecy, and you know, having the having the uh, spirit to, you know, you know, as the scripture proclaimed, to uh, 
spiritual man judges all things, yet himself is judged of no man. So even at that, we're, we're able to discern, you know, um, the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. These are gifts of Yahweh Shema Shai, bro. You know, not, to, not to be taken it for granted, not to be taken it lightly, you know, not to be trying to be boastful or proud with it, but just understanding that, you know. And, uh, you know, we're still, we all still growing in the truth in one way, like the brothers were saying from the D.C. camp, you know. You got levels to truth. You got levels to faith that men go through. The milk, you got the meat, you know. And it's, it's a beautiful thing, you know. And just the understanding, that's why the scripture in the, in the book of uh, Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 24. If any man should boast, let him boast that he understandeth and knoweth me, roughly paraphrasing. So once again, Jeremiah chapter 24, verse 3. Then said he... Then said the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shah unto me, What seest thou, Jeremiah? And I said, Figs, good figs, very good, and evil figs, very evil. They could not be eaten. They are so evil. Again, the word of Yahweh Shema Shah came unto me, saying, Thus said the Lord, the God of Israel, like these good figs, you know, like these good figs, so will I acknowledge them that are carried away captives of Judah, whom I have sent out of this place into the land of the Chaldeans for their good, right? For my eyes, for I will set mine eyes upon them for good, and I will bring them again to this land, and I will build them, build them, and not pull them down, and I will plant them and not pluck them up, bro. That's what we're talking about, man. Prophecy being fulfilled. Uh, and I will give them a heart to know me, that I am the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God. For they shall return unto me with their whole heart. Okay? And as, as the evil figs which cannot be eaten, they are so evil. Surely thus said the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shah. So will I give Zedekiah the king of Judah and his princes and the residue of Jerusalem that remain in this land and them that dwell in the land of Egypt. I will deliver them to be removed into the, all kingdoms of the earth for their hurt. To be a reproach and a proverb. A taunt and a curse, and in all places whether I have shall drive them. And I will send the sword, the famine, the pestilence among them till they be consumed from off the land that I gave unto them and to their fathers, bro. You know, so we understand coming back, Yahweh Hashem is letting us know, understand all these things that we are His chosen people. You know, now we're coming back wholeheartedly with the spirit that the Lord has given us, bro. You know, I want to go get. Uh, just, I want to go get, I want to touch on a few scriptures real quick before we get into the epistle, you know, as we, as we spoke about, um, uh, getting, uh, just prophecy being fulfilled, getting that Zechariah, and being thankful to be on this, this side of understanding, bro, as we understand, uh, the deceived and the deceiver are his, you know, understanding that, Yahweh about Shema Shah say, uh, you know, uh, many are called, but few are chosen. Many that, are, that you know, that, that Daniel chapter 12, verse 2, many that sleep in the dust shall awake, some to everlasting life, some to everlasting shame and contempt, right? Uh, and, of course, Daniel chapter 12, verse 10, I, comes, I always bring these out, bro, because, you know, hey, man. Hey, man. You know, there's something happening here, bro. That Daniel chapter 12, verse 10, um, I got it right here. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand. But the wise shall understand, bro. The wise shall understand. This is the book of Zephaniah because we're talking about life and death over here. Zephaniah chapter uh, 2 verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, we brought this out earlier today. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desire. Wait, did we bring it out today? I don't, I'm not sure, bro. Before the decree brings forth, before the day pass as a chain, before the fierce anger of Yahweh Shemashah come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the, uh, all the, all you meek of the earth, right, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness. Seek meekness. It may be you shall be here in the day of the Lord's anger. Right, man, this is so the Lord, you know, this is prophecy being fulfilled once again, that we're supposed to gather ourselves together. Gather together, O nation not desired. Come together, having the same mind, you know, speaking the same thing. You know, as speaking about in the book of uh, Philippians. 
just just one you know one out of uh, there's another one too what it says speaks about that too yeah Philippians right here chapter 2 verse uh, 1 if there be therefore any consolation in Yahusha if any comfort of love if if any fellowship of the spirit if any bowels of mercy fulfill ye my joy that ye be like minded having the same love being of one accord and of one mind okay let nothing be done through strife or vainglory but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other, other better than themselves. Okay? You see, and, and that's what Yahweh Shema is telling us to do. Come back and love one another, bro. You know, come back rehearsing the righteous acts, believing this word of truth, understanding what times we're living in. Plain and simple. No thrills. You know, what did it say? Wait ye upon me till I rise up to the prey. No, you know, don't have to be marching all up and down the street and shit. You know, just come out here and preach the word. They were gathered by the word, right? Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desire. What? Before the the before the decree brings forth, before the day pass of the chase, before the fierce anger of the Lord, Yahweh Shema shall come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. Right, before the, the time of the destruction, bro. That's what's going on around here. You know? To to uh to you know to be saved, to have that salvation, you know? To be delivered. Right? Want to get... Uh, that's Zechariah chapter 13. Verse 8. And it shall come to pass. In all the land, said Yahweh Shemashah, two parts therein shall be what? Cut off. Okay, bro? So when you... You know, when we come back and we start to hear these words of truth. You know, and the Lord's put the Spirit on you to believe this word. To believe in the word that's written down. Not somebody's, you know, misinterpretation of the word. Not somebody's hope that the words are not true. Not somebody not giving a damn what the words say. They're just going to go on about their business. You know? And it shall come to pass. And in all the land, say Yahweh Shema Shah, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them. Check it out. Refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people. And they shall say, the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah is my God, bro. You know? That's right, man. We're going to be saying... That's why, you know, that scripture comes to mind. They, uh, 1 John chapter 5, verse 19. Let's go get it real quick. That scripture come to mind, bro. It surely does, man. Let's start at verse 14. And this is the confidence. So this 1 John... Chapter 5, verse 14. And this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And what are we asking for? Mercy. We're asking for forgiveness, bro. You know? Because we don't understand we're just some filthy ass rags. We're asking to see the downfall of our enemies. We're asking for the kingdom of heaven. You know? And if we know that. He heareth us whatsoever we ask. We know that we have the petition that we desire of him. If any man see his brother sin, a sin which is not unto death, he shall ask and he shall give him life for them that sin not unto death. There is a sin unto death. I do not say that he shall pray for it. All unrighteousness is sin and there is a sin not unto death. We know that whosoever is born of Yahweh Shem shall sinneth not. But he that is begotten of Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha keepeth himself, and that wicked one toucheth him not, bro. You know, you got to be covered with the, with the blood of the Lamb because you believe, because of your faith. You know? You're rehearsing the righteous acts. 
your your uh, what does it say? What does that scripture say? The book of uh, Ecclesiasticus, chapter seventeen, verse twenty-four. You know, offend less. You know, uh, repent. What is it? Let's go get it real quick. What did I put that? that? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go back over there, man, real quick. Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 17, verse 24. But unto them that repent, he granted their return and comforted those that failed in patience. Return unto the Lord, Yahweh Shem and forsake thy sins. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. Turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity. For he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of hell and hate that abomination vehemently. See, something is going on. See, something is going on with the hopeful elect that's not going on with anybody else, bro. Something going on with the 144 hopeful elect and one third of Israel that's not happening to anybody else on the planet. Okay? What are they doing? They're turning again to the Most High. They're turning away from iniquity, which is sin upon sin upon sin upon sin. You know, they're rehearsing the righteous acts. For he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of health. You know, we're not in darkness no more, bro. Yahweh Shemashah has, has given us this understanding, bro. He's given us this gift of faith to believe the word. Hold on. For he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of health and hate that abomination vehemently, bro. And all these abominations, like, we don't, we don't, we, we're not with that shit no more, bro. You know, that's why we're able to rebuke. You know, as the triple proclaims, you know, first take the beam out of thine own eye. You know, let's go get that scripture, man. So we're not, because what, once, once again, you know, we've been washing clean and baptized with this word of truth. Not with washing clean and baptized with paraphrasing. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. What a, what a messed up joke, right? And like I said, man, we're going to start working on uh, getting these these addresses for these uh, for these uh Verses, you know, in inside of us, bro. So we can bop, just be just like that. Bop, bop, bop. That's what I man. I would love that, bro. You know, uh, remember, remember your first love, bro. Yeah, because when we first came into the truth, I remember back in the, when I first came into the truth, bro. And you know, we were eating, you know, eating the roll, just eating, just tearing, just tearing that shit up. And it was just all fresh. We were just all excited and ah. You know, every damn, almost every thought that come to mind. You having a conversation with somebody, rip, rip, you, you rebuking them, drop, 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 drop. You know, every thought is just, just scripture, 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 scripture. You know, that's man, man, that's beautiful, man. Because that's what you know. Yahweh Hashem Hashem say that in the book of Joshua, chapter one, verse eight. Okay, look, this is a book of Matthew, chapter seven, verse five. Matthew seven five. Wait, let's start at uh, 1. Judge not that ye not be judged. For what? For with what judgeth ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it, sh it shall be measured to you again. Right? Because you can't be no hypocrite. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but consider not the beam that is in thine own eye? Right? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the mote out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye. You know, can you just imagine that? Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Okay? That's what we're talking about around here, bro. You know, coming back, doing being doers of the word, believing this word wholeheartedly, hating that abomination vehemently. You know, hating, you know, be like, shit, man, I, oh, fuck, you know, I gotta work, work on that shit, you know, repent, you know, let not your iniquity, let not your sins weigh you down and not let your, let not your iniquities lift themselves up either, bro. What the scripture said, we just read it, offend less, turn again to the most high. So once again, you know, something's happening to the 144, hopefully elect that's not happening to anybody else on the planet, bro. And that's a true blessing within itself. But unto them that repent, he granted them return. So this is uh, Ecclesiastes in the Apocrypha, 
chapter 17, verse 24. And comforted those that failed in patience, right? Comfort each other with these words. Return unto the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, and forsake thy sins, make thy prayer before his face, and offend less. Offend less, right? Understanding, hey, this is the comfort right here. That we're just rehearsing the righteous acts. And I remember when I first heard that from the brethren, I was like, I was so comforted. I was like, thank you, brothers. You know, because these other camps, law, 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 law. You know? And we understand we can't fulfill the law. Can't be wearing your fringes all over the damn place. You know, the Lord said, be wise as a serpent, but harmless as doves. You know, uh, there's a dip, there's something going on over here, bro. Starting with the elders of Great Millstone and all the brothers on down there, umbrella, man. Yeah, how about Shema Shai? Say, I'm, I'm being the, I'm being the, you, you should, oh, let's go get that scripture, man. Now, like, now, let, I'm just going to quote it because we've got so many. Uh, Joel chapter 2, verse 27, it says, And ye shall know that I'm in the midst of Israel, and I'm the Lord your God and none else. Because the scripture we, we read right now say, Hey, they got to, they, you know, I'm going to be their God and they shall be my people. You know, coming back, Yahweh Shemasha has died for the children of Israel, died for our sins, and we're covered by the blood of the Lamb, Lord willing. You know, it's calling us out of darkness, cleaning us up, washing us, cleaning us, making us, baptizing us with this word of truth. You know, and we're reading right here in the book of 1 John chapter 5, verse 18. And we know that whosoever is born of Yahweh Shemasha sinneth not. But he, because you you reborn now. You're a new creature now. You know, put off that old man now, bro. Something going on around here. You know what I'm saying? You know, put off that old man now, bro. And we know that whosoever is born of Yahweh Shemasha sinneth not. But he that is begotten of Yahweh Shemasha keepeth himself, and that wicked one touches him not. Okay? And we know that we are of Yahweh Shemasha. You know, we know that we are of, of the Lord Yahweh Shemasha. And the whole world lies in what? Wickedness! That's right, bro. There's something going on around here, right, brothers and sisters? You know? Because we're not, we're not, uh, you know, we're not, we're not just bypassing this word. But, ah, yeah, whatever. We keep on going. No, 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 no. You know, the 144 hopefully elect. And we're going to get into it, bro. That's what we're talking about over here. So let's read that one more time, very slow. And we know that we are of Yahweh by Hashem al Shai. Because of what? The Spirit bears witness. You know, we look out, we look at the other brother's epistles, we're like, yeah, man. You know, there's a brother that said it on the, on the coming board the other day, man. I, I was like flabbergasted. I was like, ah. He's like, yeah, man, you're the man, you're the man of Yahweh by Hashem al Shai. I was like, oh, man, thanks, bro, man. You know what I'm talking about? The Spirit bears witness, man. We know, okay, we know, and we know that we are of Yahweh Shema Shah, and the whole world lies in wickedness. What, what does that remind you of? That reminds you, me of uh, Isaiah chapter 29, bro. Let's go get that real quick. Isaiah 29. And we're going to get back, we're going to get back to that Zechariah. Look at that, Isaiah 29 right here. Verse 13. Wherefore the Lord said, For so much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me. Oh, I love the Lord. Oh, Lord, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord this. Lord that. Oh, I know him. Lord, Lord, Lord. Oh, I know the Lord. Oh, I know all about the Lord. I know everything about the Lord. I know the Lord this. I know the Lord that. Wherefore the Lord said, For so much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and the fear... Because they don't know you, how about Shemashai? But the Lord has allowed us to know him, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Why? Because he's called us out of darkness into this marvelous light. It's like a gift. It's a gift of faith. It's not like a gift of faith. It is a gift of faith. And it's happening to us, bro. Not nobody else on the planet, bro. You got, what, 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 what just quoted? Many are called, but few are chosen. You got so many Israelite groups and camps all over the place. Going off. Going off. Going off. Will not be reproved. And what does scripture say? Man that uh, is often reproved, hardened his neck, will will be will be destroyed suddenly, and that without remedy, bro. Nope. Yeah, yep. Out here warning the children of Israel. Hey, Lord, gonna come back and fuck this place up. Hey, they, the motherfucker about to implement the M A R K. Hey, about to be a famine. Hey, 
It's a concentration camp. Hey! This motherfucker your enemy, the devil, the Bible speaks of. Hey! You the Israelites. Hey! Lord said do this. Hey! You know? What 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 is strip what we just quoted? The man been often reproved, heart in his neck, shall be destroyed, you know, uh shall suddenly be destroyed and that without remedy. Let's go once again, let's go get that scripture. So we're not paraphrasing all over the place, bro. But look. Wherefore the Lord said, For so much, Isaiah chapter 30, uh, Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13, before we move on. Wherefore the Lord said, For so much as these people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me. Oh, Lord Jesus! Oh, Lord! Call on a false god and false idol's old name. You know, I told them, Hey, that's not the name of the Lord. They don't give a damn. You know? Yeshua did. Nope, that's not it. Yehovah! Nope, that's not it. You know, just over, just constant, because they don't give a fuck. But that's all right. That's all right. Because what? Something going on around here, bro. And with their lips do honor me, but have removed their hearts, their mind. They don't, they don't, they, 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 their mind is like Esau. They don't think about you. How about Shema Yo, for Simeon and Dominicans, is that Dominicans from Dominica or Dominicans from Dominican Republic? Dominica, the island, right? No, they were they were they would be considered. Uh, so you got two tribes on one island, right? Okay, yeah, exactly. Perfect, yeah. perfect. That's why they look totally different. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh huh. I just got my I just got my um, I just evened out my ears. I originally had both pierced, and I finally got the left one caught up, so Good that you, so bro. that it's clear that the two sides are different. Even okay. though they're the same. All right. That's garnet. And that's garnet. And I'm not going to tell you what the blackstone is. It's an onyx, right? No. It's not an onyx. Uh -huh. I came, like, my first ring was onyx. So, after I had that first ring, and I started actually meeting and speaking with jewelers, I realized that they couldn't figure out what the ring was for. Because if I thought it was a black diamond, and I could have sold it for more, because I got it for the price of an onyx, it wouldn't have mattered to me at all. Because I wasn't, the money that I would have gotten, I would have spent in the same place, in the same region where I bought it, which was in New York. Hey, you know what, sometimes my, 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 my lady be talking about some things, and I, you know what I tell her? I don't care! Exactly. This is what we're talking about right exactly. here, bro. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> exactly. So I know, I know, I know what you mean. If you pick something up in the same place and you were going to like somehow advance and make more money because you thought you were getting like some sort of special leverage, uh -huh. it's more important to think about where you're trying to go or where you want to be than where you started from. He just reminded me of a scripture. This is the book of 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 11. Seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person are you to be in all... Holy conversation and godliness, bro. Looking for a hastening until the coming of the day of Yahweh Shemashah, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements. So he talk about them rings in his ear; they're gonna be dissolved. The elements shall be shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, you know, even though we understand that these things are gonna happen, we, according to His promise, look for new heavens and new earth where dwells righteousness, man. Because you know, going into this epistle that we're getting into now. About the chariots, about the uh, nuclear warheads being shot over here, about the salvation of the 144, hopefully elected one third of Israel. We're hoping and praying to be beamed up out of that, out of that, out of that destruction that's coming up on the earth, man. So we're gonna finish it up in the Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13. Wherefore the Lord said, For so much as these people draw near with me, near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their hearts far from me, the fear toward me is taught by what? The precepts of men. Now, you know, God love everybody. You know what? You know how they go along with it because that's that plantation Christianity. That's the deceive. That's that's the deceivableness of you know uh, the 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 serpent, that old serpent, the dragon. You know that was loose. That was loosed out of his prison for a little season with the uh, with all the philosophies and doctrines in the, in the Renaissance. You know, uh, with this plantation Christianity, with all these these different. Philosophies and doctrines all over the place, bro. God is this, all this confusion. God is this. No, he's this. That the man over here. That, uh, if you type in um, different denominations of the Christian church, you got like, I don't know, man. It's a lot. 
It's like a, it's more, it's a, I think it's more than a thousand, bro. I can't remember. It's ridiculous, bro. It's, but it's, but that's okay, because there's something going on over here. You know, for us, you know, what's the trip tell us to seek out our own salvation with fear and trembling. So look, I want to finish this up one more time. First John, chapter five, verse nineteen, and we know that we are of Yahweh Shemashah. And the whole world lies in wickedness, bro. They're gone. But once again, we understand this is a gift of faith. And we're praying and hoping that the Lord keep us right here, bro. You know? And we know that the, that the Son of Yahweh is come and hath given us an understanding. What? That we may know him that is true. Okay? And we are in him that is true. Okay? Even in his Son, Yahweh Shai, this is the true God, Yahweh Shemashah, in eternal life. Little children, keep yourself from idols. Amen. Keep yourself from idols. Amen, bro. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about, bro. All praise to Yahweh Shemashah. So once again, going back to finish that up in the book of Ze Ze Zechariah, chapter 13, verse 8, and it shall come to pass. This is future prophecy that's, that's going to happen. You know? That in all the land, said Yahweh Shemashah, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Two-thirds of the children of Israel are going to get cut off and die. You know, sword, famine, pestilence, you know, the teeth of wild beasts, you know. And then the rest are going to be left here and melted in Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, when those nuclear warheads come shot over, got shot over here, you know. In different various ways, uh, you know, uh, don't, don't forget about, yeah, well, that's the sword. When, when men start invading one another for the lack of bread, you know, all these things. Some of them going to get eaten up, you know, by either Teeth of Wild Beast or another person. You know, it's going gonna to be wet. This, the scripture speaks about a day, a time like no other, bro. So look, and it shall come to pass in, in all the land, say Yahweh Shemashah, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Okay? And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name. What? what? They shall call on my name. And I will hear them. I will say it is my people. And they shall say the Lord Yahweh Shemashah is my God. Can you? Can you? What? Can you? What? OMG bro. And that's what we're talking about over here. This, this is something else man. This is something else. Okay. Did we read? Uh, I want to get this. Uh. I want to get Zephaniah 1 on 4 just to put it in perspective. Zephaniah chapter 1, 14, Salaki. The great day of Yahweh Shemashah is near. It is near and hasten greatly. Even the, voice of the, even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. That's right, man. The mighty man, the strong man, the man with the guns, the man, the, 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 the dope man, dope man. The badass, the, the the bully, the the damn, the the wicked elites, the ones that that, that say they're God, you know, the the the, the ones that stockpiling their shit right now. What do they call those people? Survivors or some some hoarders. kind. No, not the hoarders. The hoarders guys, no, no, no. The uh, I know you're talking about the survivalists. The, the uh, survivalists that prepare in advance. Yeah, right? the preppers. The preppers. Right, right, right. The preppers. All of them. The preppers. Lord, the preppers. Yeah, the preppers. The Lord say. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. That day is a day of wrath. Okay? A day of trouble and distress. A day of wastedness and desolation. Okay? A day of darkness and gloominess. A day of clouds and thick darkness. A day the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers. And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men, right, you know, you know, once again, what does the scripture say? The, the fear of the Lord has been, been taught by the priests of the men? You're setting it in so much light. Uh, are you in the Old Testament or the New Testament? Yeah, the old right here, Zephaniah. Okay, smart. Um, oh, you have Lord. Psalms in there? Yes. You have Psalm um, 118? Yes. Please access it? No. Really? Yep, that's right. Why? Because we, 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 hey man. So much light. Huh? So much light. No, because see, you probably done... Uh, you know what I'm talking about. You probably done uh, defile your temple tonight? No. I had to clean up because... You done smoke some grass tonight? No. I had to clean up because what I was looking at with the... Um, 
I don't like scolding children. I can't scold children comfortably. Like it's the way you said. Sometimes your wife talks to you, and it's like annoying. Look, man. Once again, we don't care. We bring out the word of truth, bro. Yeah. So I don't okay. Scold, I don't scold children. So I just. I remember one time I was up here, and a guy come up here and start telling me about his T-shirt business that he had. Now he had been coming up here as as if he cared about the word for 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 a few minutes, you know. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like. The hell you come up here talking about some goddamn t-shirt business for bro because everything you know what we just read in the book of let's go get it again Please. in the book of uh second peter chapter 3 verse 11 sin then that look wait wait hold on let's jump back to nine the lord is not slack concerning his promise what did the lord tell us he don't and that's what we're getting into right now see the lord yeah about shimashah has woken us up in the last days it wasn't so long ago that some of us were still running around here calling ourselves Negroes, black folks, Hispanics, you know, getting drunk, getting fucked up on the daily, you know, just out here in total darkness, bro. But Yahweh Hashem HaShah bless us with this truth. And then, you know, once you get it, he said, come out here, go on the highways and hedges and warn my people. Give them warning for me. Get the blood off your hands and get your shit together, you know. Seek out your own salvation with fear and trembling. We understand now who Esau Edom is, the, dog, the Caucasian race, the devil that the Bible speaks of, bro. We understand we're living in the last days. We, we understand we're living in, in the end of his age, the end of his kingdom. This is it. It's evident to us. You know, as we just read in the book of, uh, that, la that last little piece, in the book of um, 1 John chapter 5, verse 20. And we know that the son of Yahweh Shemashah has come and hath given us an understanding, okay? That we may know him that is true. And who is he? He is the word, bro. So look. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness. But is long suffering to us were. Not willing that any man should perish but they shall all come to repentance. But we understand that two thirds are going to get cut off. They're not all going to come to repentance. But this word is for the 144. Hopefully like the one third of Israel, right? Thank you so much. But the day. Okay, bro. You take it easy, okay? Yeah. Enjoy, hey, enjoy I'm gonna yourself. Catch, I'm going to catch up with you before you leave. Enjoy yourself, man. Hour. Because... At least you That's repent, you're gonna get it. You're gonna be, it ain't gonna be funny, man. What, repentance? No, see, he, he probably, I don't know, man. But unless, at least you repent, you shall all likewise perish. That's what the strippers say. So you, enjoy yourself, let bro. Let me ask you a serious question. Because obviously, you know, you're not leaning toward repentance, you know, because. Let me ask you a serious question. Okay. Have you ever been to a Jewish funeral? A Jewish what? Funeral. When you say Jewish, I mean oh, Jewish. you mean those. Fucking motherfuckers that stole our heritage? No, I'm just asking. Have you ever been to a Jewish No, funeral? thank you, Lord. I haven't either. I have okay. not. I'm so glad. Have you ever seen one? I don't care about no goddamn. These, these motherfuckers are the devil that the Bible speaks of. That's what I'm trying to tell you, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? I hear you. See, see, the Lord has opened up our eyes to understand who our enemies are. He's still talking about you. Been doing, what you going to say about it? Was it nice? Did you enjoy yourself? No, what I'm saying is, I don't. You probably can't find anyone that's ever been to one. That's all I'm saying. Oh, they're secretive. Yeah, of course, because. No, 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 no. Oh, you think they live forever? No, not even that. You, I mean, you believe in eternal life, right? But that... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Pause, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pause. yeah. Just ask yourself, in yeah. real life, you've, you've met Jewish people before. We, are sure, we ought to obey God rather than man. See, look, we, we, we coming back with the understanding of the truth, bro. Right. Okay? See, the only one, you know, that, that has lived like that is Yahweh Shai. Okay? But right now, but when he say you know. when he say he's coming back, he's gonna give us. What do you think about he's gonna give us these bodies. He's gonna he's gonna put the laws in the inward parts, and we're not gonna die. What do you think? We about are the children of Israel, not them motherfuckers over there. What do you bro. think about Jericho? And that's what see that's what's coming back what to the think? understanding of the truth. But but what you, you will about? not get that truth if you keep doing this. What do you think about Jericho see? Genesis? See, and that's what we're talking about right here. And that's why I know. That's why I told him he better enjoy himself now. You know what I'm talking about, brothers and sisters? You know because I remember when he first when he first came up here, he started asking me about all kind of. All kind of different philosophies and doctrines and all kind of stuff, bro. And I was like, dude, you bugged out. I told him that. And of course, you know, hey, once you get, once you go bugged out, you never come back, you know. And, the, you know, as the strip proclaims, these men are ordained to this condemnation, bro. Hey. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord definitely say, be peaceable among, among, among all men and love the enemies. Of course, he's, he's a chosen, he's a chaste Israelite, bro. But just like that Jake, they just walked down the street, too. Which one? This... That one right there. Oh, I thought you said, okay. That Jake, Jake, Jake yeah, yeah, yeah. is Israelites. Okay. You know, this is only for the 144, hopefully, like the 130 visual that we're hoping to be a part of, bro. And it ain't nothing like that. It's just like, hey, you know, um, you know, we are coming back being obedient to the, to the word, man. Not casting your pearls before swine. You know, not, not, I, I, you know, we're not going into, we're not doing that shit no more, bro. 
not not wasting like the like the brothers in uh, DC this, this, today. They were, uh, you know, going. They went back and forth with that Christian for for a little bit, and then then the brother said, you know what? F this, man. You bring you bring out that strip you want to bring out, you know, because it, it, it's it's uh, what's the scripture said in the book of Titus? You know, that's 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 about being obedient to the word, and that's about having fear of Yahweh Shemashah and being doers of the word and not hearers only. You know, unlike IUIC that's running up on them goddamn churches who've heard about the Hebrew Israelite. Because, you know, this word, you know, as, as Yahweh Shemashah say, that, you know, the seed is planted. He's the one that gives the increase. He's the one that, he said, I chose you, you did not choose me. He said, no man coming to me unless the Father draw him. You know, like we just read the scriptures. He called, you know, called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. He's the one that's leading us out of, out of the, uh, what, what's the scripture at right here? Lead us out of darkness into the light of health, bro. You know, while everybody else is in gross darkness, gross darkness, the people, they're wrapped up in, they're, they're worshiping, the, the following after the beast, Babylon the Great, who tell them they can do whatever, do whatever the hell they fucking want. You know, law, sex, commandments, out the damn window, all that shit, bro. But for us, Yahweh Shem got us over here, you know, proclaiming this word of truth and, and believing in this word wholeheartedly, man, even into the death. You know what I'm saying? So what, once again, uh, turn away, turn again to the Most High, turn again to the Most High, and turn away from iniquity. For he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of hell and hate that abomination vehemently. That's right, man. That's why I was reading that that uh, the Lord is going to lead us out of darkness into the light of hell. That's why I was reading that 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 uh, Second Peter. I read it again. He's telling me about some damn earrings, all kind of motherfucking bullshit. Anybody got time for that shit? Don't nobody want. I don't want to sit up here having no conversation about no vain shit about some Jewish wet. It's about some uh, what's that? Some Jewish funeral? Have you ever been to? So who gives a fuck about them motherfuckers? We talking about what the scripture? The scripture even tells us. Inquire how the righteous shall be saved, man. How the righteous shall be saved, bro. That's what we're talking about over here. And I was gonna get seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of person are you to be? In all holy conversation and godliness, bro. But you know, once again, this is a gift of faith. It's not given to all Israelites. That's why we understand that, bro. That's why um, you know, hey. Can two walk together unless they be agreed? You know, uh, be un be not unequally yoked with non-believers because the conversation is going to be vain. You know, what are you talking about, bro? Then, then you know, he's going to be a sit over here writing down the 12 tribes chart like he, ca like he care. You know? And, and, oh, no, oh, no, I didn't smoke no weed today. Man, get the hell out of here. You know what I'm saying? But anyway... Hey, all praises to Yahweh Shemashah for the examples, you know, of the bug outs right at camp. Even if they're little, you know, nice, you know, kind of cool bug outs. Because, you know, them, uh, like the Dallas camp, they had some real demons around them last night, bro. Guy, you know, some guy throwing damn chairs and shit, you know. Uh, but what, you know? Come on, I wanted to, I wanted to finish up that Zephaniah chapter... Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 14. Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 16. A day of a day, the trumpet and alarm against the fence cities and against the Howard Towers. I will bring distress upon men that they should walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord, and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as dung. Okay? Neither. Their silver nor gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. You understand, bro? See, once again, these words mean something to us. All praises to you. How about Shema Shai? But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. For he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. Right? You know, and that's what we're talking about, man. Getting ready for the Lord's return. That's what, and that's what we, that's what we were gearing, gearing toward too, in this epistle. You know, uh, I wanted to get that build up. You know that there's something going on around here for us, the 144 hopeful elect and one third of Israel. That's not happening to anybody else on the planet, bro. You know, it's very, very special right here, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is a gift of faith, and I want to get this. Uh, uh, hey, let's go get these these other few scriptures real quick. The book of Baruch, chapter, chapter four, verse thirty-four. You know, cause you got you got Israelites out here, you know, they hear the word, and they, they, they you know, uh, what's that, what's that scripture speaks about? Uh, they hear the, they say, "Come, let us hear." 
come, let, let us... Uh, they sit in the marketplace and they hear the ch- sound of the charmers, charming ever so, ch- ever you know, charming you know, plans ever so. Let's go get it. Let's go get the scripture. You know, but ultimately, I just let's just point it out. They hear the word. Let's go get it, man. So lucky, bro. Yeah, the other day I just saw that dude sitting over on the on in some kind of like a deserted, like a side of side of a highway, you know, looking through, sitting right beside the Edomite, just looking fucking totally through. Who knows what the fuck they've been doing all goddamn night long, man? This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter thirty-three, verse thirty-two, and lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song. Of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. For they hear the words, but they do them not. Right? I want to get I want to go back up one more time. Salaki, bro. Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 30. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses, and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come. I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh forth from Yahweh by Shema Shai. And they come unto thee as thy as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goeth after their covetous, bro. And that's exactly what we just read in the book of uh uh when we just read uh Isaiah chapter 29 verse 13 and lo thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument for they hear the words but they do them not bro Yahweh Shema Shai commanded everyone to repent everywhere right you know Yahweh Shema Shai said he they, that did not have, have not repented you know you know what we just, I just quoted it to him at least you repent you shall all likewise perish bro you know, and they, they think they think this is a, some kind of fun and games. You know, just like just like Noah. You know, hey, it's gonna rain. Floods coming now as, he, as he's building the ark. This is a spiritual ark right here, bro. But that's okay, man, because we understand that this is the, the will of Yahweh by Shema Shai, bro. That's why this is very precious to us. Okay. Did I read that Baruch? Oh, I want to read that Baruch one more time, or I want to get it. Did I read it? I can't, man. Something's going on in my mind, bro. No, we didn't. Baruch chapter. Uh, no, we got we got distracted. Baruch chapter four, verse thirty-three. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin, and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. For fire shall come upon her from the everlasting, long to endure, and she shall be inhabited of devil for a great time. Right after Yahweh Shemasha shoot those nuclear warheads over here in Babylon the Great and destroy it. You know, it speaks about the satire. You know, the, the, the isle's going to live here. The dragons of the desert's going to live here. You know, roughly paraphrasing. You know? O Jerusalem, look about thee toward the, toward the east, and behold the joy that cometh unto thee from Yahweh Shemashai. Lo, thy sons come who thou sentest away. They come gathered together from the east to the west by the word of the Holy One rejoicing in, in the glory of Yahweh Shema Shai. What? You know, just like, uh, just like the Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. They're gathered by the word. They're gathered together. Coming under one accord, you know. And what's this going, what's happening here? The 144, hopefully like the one third of Israel. The, the body of Yahweh Shema Shai. Everybody else seems to be outside the body, you know. Because what, what, does, this, what does it tell you? You know, and this is like key evidence, bro. Um... You know, that's why they're going to be gathered by the word. They're going to, you know, uh, the, as the scripture proclaimed, the wise shall understand. The wicked shall do wickedly, but the wise shall understand. The wicked shall do wickedly, but the wise shall understand. They're going to, you know, they're going to be out here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Just another phase in black culture. Missions of the Kingdom Brothers are always saying that. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm going I'm to stick with my God that I, was, I grew up with. 
not understanding that this is a great awakening, bro. Prophecy being fulfilled, you know, that's written up right there in the face. Because why? This is a gift of faith. You know, Yahweh Shemasha, once again, I, I chose you. You did not choose me. No man coming to me unless he will, you know, the Father draw him, bro. Right, uh, going to that body. Let's start at uh, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1. I therefore, the prisoner of Yahweh, by Hashem El Shai, beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation where you were called, 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 called out of darkness into this marvelous light. With all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, bro. You know? Endure, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There's one body and one Spirit. Even as ye are called in one hope of your calling, bro. You know, all these other people are enemies of you. How about Shema Shah, man? They hate. What did what, what the Lord say? They they hate the word. They hate him because he testified of it that the word, that the deeds thereof are evil, bro. They want to cleave on to Esau. They want to cleave on to this wicked ass world. Cleave on their philosophies and their doctrines, bro. F y'all, man. You know what I'm talking about, bro? There's one body. One one body, bro. Let's read it slowly. For the short bus. There's one body. Not not all different camps and groups and shit out here. This is the great awakening, bro. One truth, man. Yeah, how about Shimel Shah, bro? The word, the the doctrine. You know, as as the scripture proclaims, just as Moses lifted up the serpent, so must the son of man be lifted up. That whosoever believe it on him. Shall be saved, bro. Roughly paraphrasing. He's the word. The word made flesh, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's something else, bro. There's one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling, bro. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. One Yahweh Shemashah and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Yahweh Shai. Wherefore he said, when he ascended up on high, he led capt captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Now that he ascended, what is it that but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? He that ascended is the same also that ascended up for above all heavens, that he might fulfill all things and he gave some apostles okay look check it out man here we go right here right here bro and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers my man the body the game for the perfecting of the saints perfecting of the saints to, to get that to get that understanding that perfect understanding of the knowledge of Yahweh Shemasha believe having faith in the word the written word the plans of Yahweh Shema Shai. We're going to do this. You know, hey, two-thirds going to be cut off. Uh, Esau Edom going to go down. It's the end of their kingdom, the end of their rulership. You know, I'm going to deliver y'all. I'm going to, you know, you're going to be gathered by the word of truth. You know, the spirit bears with them with our spirit. You know, you're going to you're going to be able to know who's, who's, uh, who's, who's, who's the Israel of the Most High. Who's, who's walking according to this rule. You're going to, if you, if you don't, if you see your brother slipping, love your brother, rebuke the shit out of his ass. You know, so he'd be sound in the faith. You know, and if he take correction, good for his ass. You know, because what does it say? You know, uh, the Lord said, I have not lost one. The election have obtained it and the rest were blinded, bro. So we're praying and hoping to be a part of that number. We're praying to endure until the end, you know. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Yahweh Shai. Till we all come to the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of Yahweh Shai, unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the statue of the fullness of Yahweh Shai. That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine. You know, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine. That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine. No, you got to come like a newborn baby. You know? 
by the slight of men and the cunning graftiness whereby they lie and wait to deceive. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him into all things which is the head even Yahushai. From whom the whole body fitly jointly together and compacted by that which every joint supplies according to the effectual working in the measure of every part. Making increase in the body into edifying of itself in love. You know? Because what's going to happen, man? Everybody else is going to continue to deny you how about Shema They're going to continue to put it off. Oh, I got to, you know. But what does the scripture say? Make no charity turn to you. How about Shema This is the good news, bro. But no, you don't want to believe the good news. But that's okay because this is for us, the 144 hopeful elected, 130 virtual. That hope of salvation. This is the book of Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. For by grace are you saved through faith. And not of yourself, is it is a gift of Yahweh Shemashai. Not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Yahweh Shai into good works, which Yahweh Shemashai had before ordained that we should walk in them. Before ordained that we should walk in them. They, he said, you know, I'm going to come here, I'm going to clean you up, bring you through the fire, and I shall be your God and you shall be my people, bro. Okay? Gonna get a few more, man. We're about to we're gonna close it up, bro. Second Corinthians chapter four verse three. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them him that is lost, bro. Let's start at, let's let's read verse four. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 1. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy. Mercy. Proverbs chapter 3. Let not truth and mercy forsake thee. You know? You know, this is good news. When you hear this good news, you so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American, and it's clear. Hey, hey, what? With the Israelites, who, who, what? Huh? What? The Lord coming back and get us out of this hellhole? This is not the end all be all, bro? There's something better? The wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. But the wise shall understand. Oh, the Lord going to come back and destroy this place? Oh, these words are actually true? What, they happened to you? The Lord called you out of darkness? I'm in darkness, you know. But, of course, you know, it's what we just read. It's a gift of faith, bro. It's a gift of faith. Not of yourself, if any man should boast. Okay? Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. But have renounced, okay, the hidden things of dishonesty, okay, and that's what that's what we're talking about. There's something going on. The Lord is doing this, you know, his spirit. He said, by his spirit, he has gathered us. You know. You know, he's the one. Man's goings are of the Lord. You know, the Lord is the Father of Spirits. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of Yahweh Shemashah deceitfully, bro. But by manifestation of truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of Yahweh Shemashah. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, bro. You know? Want to get this Hebrews? Hebrews chapter 4, verse 2. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Right. So look, this words right here, telling you that you so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians are the lost 12 tribes of Israel. But once again, this is a gift of faith. So it doesn't profit them that heard it, not being mixed with that gift that the Lord's given us. Given to who? The 144 hopefully elected one third of Israel. But he said, through the foolishness of preaching, it pleased him to save them. That what? That believe, bro. But what? There's so many Israelites out here that, hey, I know I'm an Israelite, but they still continue on 
in their wickedness. But how about Shema we just read? But we have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of Yahweh Shema de deceitfully. You know, we, we, we putting up once again that old man got to go. The new man walking in the spirit, bro, having faith, hope and what waiting on Yahweh Shema believing in the, in, the, in the promise of his coming. The Lord is not slack concerning his, his promise, bro. OK, but what? For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them, but the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith, man. 100 real faith, not no bullshit faith. Okay? Real faith, man. Real faith. What's that scripture in the book of uh, Ecclesiastes? Uh, is it in Ecclesiasticus? It says, uh, I want to paraphrase it. As for faith, it shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome. And the truth that they have been so long without fruit shall be declared, bro. You know? And that's what's, that's what's going on. Going to the book of Romans real quick. Chapter 11. Verse 7. What then? Israel have not attained that which it seeketh for. But the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded, man. That's right, man. The truth, the answers, the comfort, the hope. You know, Yahweh by Hashem man. And we're going to end it off with uh, Psalms. See, these are not just words to us. That's why I didn't, I didn't want to get that scripture that the dude was talking about. Get Psalms 1, such and such. Right? Because if he knew, if he, if, he had the Holy, if he had the Spirit, the Holy Spirit to understand, your ass will be out here preaching the word. Be, be, hey, y'all better watch. Hey, the Lord gonna come in and destroy this place. You know what I'm talking about, bro? <laughs> Surreal, man. He be giving them warning from you. How about Shema Shah? Yay. So, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 50. Let's, let's hit, let's 15. Let's hit 15. They're gonna jump. Psalms, chapter 50, verse 15. And call upon me in the day of trouble, I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me, right? Going back, speaking about them chariots, you know, that the Lord's going to deliver us. Lord willing, we're a part of that number. From the destruction that's about to befall Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. And through all these troubles, a time of Jacob's trouble, you know, when we, you know, these concentration camps, the teeth of wild beasts, you know, the famine, you know, the sedition of men. May you, how about you, Masha, bless him. And protect us all through all that, bro. You know, as the strip proclaims in the book of First Peter. Right. So there's something going on. Got somebody driving up the wrong way. Let's see what's going to happen here. First Peter chapter 4, verse 17. They barely made it. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of, of, of Yahweh Shemashah. And if it first began at us, what shall be the end of them that obey, what? That obey not the gospel of Yahweh Shemashah. And, and what do we, we just, we've been bringing out the whole time that contrast of them that obey not the gospel. How they going off here and there. You know, we, we spoke about it this morning. These other Israelites that knew the, know the Israelites, but yet, you know, denying the power thereof, you know. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Not covered by the blood of the Lamb, bro. Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of Yahweh Shema Shah commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as into a faithful creator. Right, Yahweh Shema Shah got us, you know, we, he about to, we about to read it right here. We're going to close it. We're going to close it out with this, bro. Now look, and call upon me in the day of trouble, I will deliver thee. Right? And thou shalt glorify me. All praise to Yahweh Shema Shah. We're going to jump down to verse 21. So this is Psalm chapter 50, verse 21. These things hast thou done, and I kept silent. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself. But I will reprove thee, and set them in order before thine eyes. I'm going to reprove thee. And what the Lord is going to do? Set us in order before his eyes. You know, bringing us through the fire. With that chastisement. You know, correcting, the correcting. Comfort us with these words. 
uh, washing us and cleaning us and baptizing us with this word of truth. Very important. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, bro. Now, consider this. Ye that forgot Yahweh by Shemashah, least I tear you to pieces. And there be none to deliver, bro. That's what the Lord's talking about. What did he say? The Lord will, will uh, threaten. What's that scripture? The Lord will threaten. And who will, uh, who will not be utterly beaten to powder? Roughly paraphrasing. Now consider this, ye that forget Yahweh Shemashah. Okay? The warnings. The warnings. The warnings. Least I tear you to pieces. And there be none to deliver. That's why the scriptures say, hey, go and cry to the gods that you have served. You know, because you didn't want to repent to the one true living God. This is verse 23. Whoso offereth praise, wait a minute. Whoso offereth praise glorified, glorified me. And to him that ordereth his conversation all right, will I show the salvation of Yahweh Shemashah, bro. We got to read that one more time slowly. Now consider this, ye that forget Yahweh Shemashah, least I tear you to pieces. And there be none to deliver. Verse in the contrast. Whoso, off, whoso offereth praises. Whoso offereth praise glorifies me. And to him that ordereth his conversation all right. Will I show the salvation of Yahweh Hashem And that's what we're talking about man. Just like it's speaking about in the Apocrypha. Them that shall be, this, be, be uh, delivered by their works and by faith. Which you have believed bro. Let's go get that real quick and end it off on that. Yeah, because the Lord is, you know, constantly saying, hey, you know, you do this, you do that, you're going to get, you know, you're going to get, you're going to get a reward, bro. And that's why the Lord's woken us. Check it out, bro. He's woken us up in these last days. Put the Holy Spirit of the truth on us, giving us a passage according to his own heart that's going to feed us with knowledge. Started with the elders, apostles, great millstone, that one, that uh, one, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, bro. That's mercy. Mercy. That's why the scripture in the book of Proverbs, let not mercy and truth forsake thee, bro. What does it say? The book of 2nd Ezra chapter 9, verse 7. And everyone that shall and everyone that shall be saved, that shall be saved, okay? That's what we're looking for, salvation. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works. And by faith whereby ye have believed shall be preserved. And that's what I was just hoping for earlier. Remember I was saying, man, may the Lord, you know, bless us all. The ones that call on his name and believe in our word. You know, the ones that he, you know, he's the one that shows us mercy, mercy. I said, I hope the Lord deliver us out of the hands of our enemies. You know, Esau, even the Caucasian race, the swords, you know, the, the sedition among men invading one another. You know, the teeth of wild beasts, the famine, the plagues, the nuclear warheads, the being shot over here, Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. You know, this time of Jacob's trouble. May the Lord deliver us out of that. I said that, bro. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them from the beginning. You know, for me from the beginning, bro. So once again, you know, we, we open it up with uh, Isaiah chapter 46, you know, uh, verse 10. The Lord declared the end from the beginning, saying, my counsel shall stand and I'm going to do all my pleasure. So, you know, the Lord is already, you know, hey, all this is predestinated. And, you know, all praise to you, how about Shema Shah, that the Lord's got, got us out here, the men of the Lord on the four corners of the earth, bringing out this 100% truth, you know, to the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. Telling y'all to repent to the one true living God, Lord willing, you know, to, uh, putting the spirit on us to seek out our own salvation with fear and trembling. You know, all these things, bro. So, hey, man, there's something going on around here. All praises to you, Yahweh Shemasha. And you know what it is? Being washed and clean and baptized with this word of truth. Putting on as the elect, five wise virgins, Lord willing, you know, all these things, you know, the Lord has us doing to prepare for that great and terrible day. So hopefully this is edifying and exhorting, brothers and sisters. I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekah Kwedash. want to give double honors to the elders and apostles, Great Millstone, for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. 
Salutations to the 144. Hopefully, elect the visual who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever we go. Shalom, Israel. Shalom.